Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this lightweight title. Brian Guerrero with a 1 0 record, relatively close in age. Both fighters 5 9, both weighing the lightweight limit. Let's throw it up to David Diamante, who was awaiting in the cage with the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the space at Westbury, we are set to go with our next Trident fight of the evening. Your referee for this contest is J.P. Zuniga. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands five foot nine inches tall. He weighed in officially at 155 and one half pounds. His record, one victory, no defeats. He represents NY Ultimate Fit Zone and Holy War Angel. Fighting out of Queens, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brian Venom Guerrero. Guerrero. And his opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner. This man is also a freestyle fighter. He stands five foot nine inches tall. He weighed in at a ready and even 154 pounds. Tonight, he makes his amateur debut representing the UFC gym in Staten Island and fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jose Rodriguez. Rodriguez. All right, it's the last fight of the undercard. The lightweights, Brian Guerrero in the gray. Jose Rodriguez in the black. Novice rules. Here we go. Common theme we saw to, in this undercard is both guys coming out early. Big, huge takedown by Rodriguez. Get him, baby, get him. Get him. Get him, let's go. Let him bring it, baby, let's go. Yeah, there's not much of a feeling out period oh. when you're at your making your MMA debut or it's your first fight. Oh, nice left hand by Rodriguez. There's a lot of nerves going through, uh, through, through the young fighters' bodies, and uh, there's no feeling anything out like two pit bulls in a, in a dog fight. Rodriguez is making his debut, but he is the aggressive fighter here. Brian Guerrero already has a win under his belt. Kind of on the defense here a little bit. Guerrero gets a nice little right of his own in there. Another takedown by Rodriguez. Ninety seconds, round number one. Rodriguez scores to the body. Now from this position, the guard, without being able to really strike to the head, there's not much you can do in the top position. So standing up might be your best chance if you're a striker and you're comfortable on the feet. That's a common theme we've seen tonight. If these fighters aren't comfortable being on the ground, they're quick to get back up and trade. Oh, nice right hand lands once again by Rodriguez. Finding the home for that right hand. Follows it up with a left. These guys are definitely looking for the one hit or quitter tonight. I think that was the first jab we saw thrown all night. <laughs> Not a lot of jabs tonight. Thirty-five seconds remaining, round number one. Lightweight division, Brian Guerrero and Jose Rodriguez. A lot of action early on. Team Rodriguez come out tonight, be sitting right behind us in our ear. Gotta love the support they've shown tonight. Coaching from those cage side seats. <laughs> I think I can hear them louder than I can hear you, Dan. Yeah. 
That's round number one. Good round for Rodriguez, who was able to find a home for that right hand. Guerrero found himself on the defense a lot there. How'd you see that round, Eric? Definitely a 10-9 round. I mean, I guess it does go to the judges' eyes. We saw the take two takedowns. Takedowns definitely solidified it. Big slam there. It's gonna those hurt tomorrow. Those definitely add up, and they're not only do they hurt a little bit, but they're demoralizing as well. Rodriguez was able to land a few blows of his own on the stand-up. And it wasn't totally dominated by Guerrero. Rodriguez is smart to try to time out some of those big right and left looping uh, blows that Guerrero was landing. Try to land a counter here in round two. I feel like that's really the key when you're in your first one or two fights and guys are just swinging at you wildly. It's sort of let them swing, let them miss, let them get tired, and then look for a shot of your own or come in with the jab and then counter. Round number two. Rodriguez in the black, Guerrero in the gray. Both fighters taking their time in round two, sort of measuring a little bit. Wait, was that, was that a jab I just saw? It was. Lead leg, leg kick. I mean, you're seeing the lead leg, leg kick. Ooh, nice body shot by Guerrero. You're seeing that lead leg, leg kick utilized a lot more now in mixed martial arts, but on this amateur level, it's usually used and it's a sign of one fighter being a little bit more tired than the other. Rodriguez swinging to the fences with yeah. some big loopy punches. Oh, left hand staggers Guerrero. You can tell Guerrero is definitely a little bit tired. He came out a lot Oh, of another one. We saw a nice body kick by Guerrero and came in and clinched right away. Trying to work some knees to the body. And the Guerrero on the fence here. Now Rodriguez is grabbing that leg, holding on, trying to block those knee strikes. Knees to the body definitely take a lot out. He's able to reverse him and punch out. One minute remaining here, round number two, scheduled for three in the lightweight division. Jose Rodriguez and Brian Guerrero. Been an exciting round here. Jose Rodriguez is definitely picking up some steam in the second round. Momentum is on his side. Ooh, glancing leg kick there by Guerrero. Yeah, and, and, and Jose Rodriguez smiled at him. Yeah, kind of laughed it off. You know what? I think he's sort of seeing that he that that uh that Guerrero is a little bit tired. Your, the fans here are definitely yeah. behind, behind Jose. I can't seconds. even hear myself. <laughs> Ten seconds, round number two. Ooh. Jose oh, late. Oh, trade 11 late. That was a real exciting round, Dan. Wow. It seems like Jose's really found his rhythm in that second round. We'll see how it moves into the third round with that same rhythm where Brian Guerrero is able to stifle him and get to the, and, and sort of enclose his willpower like he was in that first round with those takedowns. I think I'd make that a 10-9 a round for Jose, making it a one and one. So. Whoever gets his third round is going to be the victor, in my opinion, anyway. 
Let's take a look at some of the replays here. Uh, Rodriguez is able to find a, a home for those leg kicks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final round. Here we go, third and final round. Lightweight division, Brian Guerrero, Jose Rodriguez. Oh, Guerrero is poking out with that jab, but Ooh. Jose is just throwing the loopy punches. Yeah, found another home for it there. I don't think that Jose respects Guerrero's power anymore. I think he realized it in that second round when we saw him smile that one or two times. We see him smiling again here. Yeah. He's had a lot of luck with that lead leg leg kick, followed up by either a loopy, a loopy lead hook or a jab. Ooh. Big, big, big right hands. Two nice shots. crowd here at the Space at Westbury have seen a great night of fights thus far. We still have five more fights to go. And if they're anything like this bout here, it's going to be fireworks. Now Guerrero is leading with those kicks. It seems like he's trying to keep a little bit of a distance here. But Jose Rodriguez, he's getting the better of the exchanges when it comes to the boxing. So I could see why Guerrero wants to stay away. Nice little moment there by Guerrero. Was able to land a one-two. See if he can... Uh, Kind of pounce on that. Under a minute left here in the final round. Been a very competitive fight in the flyweight division. Yeah, this round's been pretty even so far. Guerrero had uh, some nice kicks that landed, followed up by some punches, and. Uh, Jose's landed some good strikes as well, some pretty big shots. Nobody's really been the definitive victor here. Somebody's got to go get that takedown, score it so they can lock this one up and put it in the book. Totally agree, Eric. 30 seconds remaining for these fighters who impressed the judges here at cage side. Brian Guerrero and Jose Rodriguez putting on a show. the fight let's hear it for these two combatants here Brian Guerrero and Jose Rodriguez what a show yeah that was a really exciting fight Dan I mean that last round was so even I don't think I could put a, an honest score on it I mean we're gonna have to leave this one up to the judges and we'll see what they come up with we shall see outstanding fight in the lightweight division wouldn't mind seeing both these young fighters step into the Triton fight cage again in the future I'm sure we'll see both of them. Both of them put on a really good show. Uh, we see Rodriguez landing that big, loopy overhand left, getting countered by Guerrero. And that about summed it up for this round, Dan. It was yeah. pretty even. Judges are tabulating their scorecards. Very close fight. Making sure they got this one correct. Will Brian Guerrero get his second win of his career or will Jose Rodriguez taste his first? Let's throw it up to David Diamante who is in the cage with the official results.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge A scored the bout 29-27. Judges B and C both scored the bout 29 to 28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. From Brooklyn, New York, Jose Rodriguez. How does it feel to get your big win here in New York? Amazing, amazing. I, I can't even express this to them. Well, thank you very much, Jose. We look forward to seeing you fight in the future. Everyone, give him a round of applause. <laughs> 